the world martial arts champion, Earth's mightiest protector and savior. Today, we are talking about Mr. Satan. <laughs> All right, little man, are you ready to go toe to toe with the champ? Mr. Satan is a character who grew on me a lot during this series, so let's talk about why he was actually really crucial to saving the world. He was first introduced in the Android Saga, and man, I hated this guy at first. He was so annoying, just constantly showboating, flexing, and pretending he's the world's strongest warrior. When we have literally been watching these superhuman beings for years take on aliens, monsters, and other powerful foes. It made for a pretty funny gag to begin with and started what was a decent anime trope we see nowadays. This figure that pretends to be really strong but secretly is completely useless. He didn't offer much in the android saga other than running around screaming in fear of Cell. I guess we can give him some credit for tossing Android 16's head over to Gohan and giving Gohan that last push to go berserk. But it's really in the Boo saga where this man starts to become a cult hero and a fan favourite. He goes through a lot of development, sure he still has this annoying persona, but you gradually start to realise that he has to keep this up otherwise he will lose the trust of the people and come the end of the series that turns out to be a massive factor in saving the world. The martial arts tournament was definitely a funny one because we had all of our heroes rocking up, they hadn't been to this tournament in years and literally no one knew them. They just thought Mr Satan would easily sweep like he has been doing with everyone out the picture and it just made it for such a great dynamic in this tournament. You just had these freaks of nature shocking every average fan, Android 18 scoring massively on the punch machine, and then Vegeta completely breaking the thing. Trunks and Goten, two kids showing up and putting on one of the best fights anyone in the crowd has ever seen. It was just a massive wake-up call to everyone, the fans watching, and to Mr. Satan himself. It changed the whole game for Satan. All of a sudden, this front that he was putting on of being the best fighter in the world was finally going to come crashing down. Thankfully for him, the tournament ended with Android 18 taking the dive and keeping Mr. Satan on top for her own benefit of getting double the prize money. It was pretty funny that this man gets to keep his crown, but it kind of makes sense because our heroes don't need them titles anymore. They're dealing with these massive threats and having someone like Mr. Satan on their side would come back around to get them out with some tight jams. And that brings me to Majin Buu, the giant bubblegum creature void of any intelligence. Buu would eat what he wanted and destroy and kill who he wanted and it was all until a certain Mr. Satan came along. It was honestly such a great storyline that they threw into this saga having this so called champion, this man who comes across as this hot headed self centred dude, he goes in to try and kill Boo and it turns into one of the most wholesome friendships we've ever seen. Satan gradually making Boo open up to him and we know that Boo had this childlike innocence in him but we just needed someone to show him the right ways to do things. I mean, even now in Super, Boo is still got a temper issue. He can go from 0 to 100 if someone annoys him, someone steals his ice cream or something. But Satan was there to calm all of that down, and this begins in their little house that Boo made. And you throw a dog into the mix, and you've got this wholesome little family dynamic. And all of a sudden, we're starting to root for these guys. Margin Boo just slaughtered thousands of people. He's starting to become more likeable. Mr. Satan, the annoying show-off who's been useless in battle, he's actually saving the world here. And it was heartbreaking seeing this random character shoot their dog and make Boo erupt with rage. And that was really the moment that would eventually lead to the evil part of Boo splitting apart from the innocent side. I think the Boo saga is pretty underrated when you compare it to the others. I think it brought back a lot of heart to the series and Mr. Satan was a big part of that as well. Goku's final showdown with Kid Buu, the pure evil parts of Buu on full show, one last spirit bomb to try and defeat him, a move that Goku doesn't bring out that much, so this was it, this was the last hope, he couldn't gather up enough energy from everyone, and then in the dying seconds the legend Mr. Satan steps in, commands everyone on earth to give over their energy to save the world, and it was honestly a really great moment that hit hard when I rewatched this arc. Go champ. I don't believe it. That guy, I swear. This buffoon of a man coming in clutch in the dying moment, becoming an actual hero after years of just falling around and being a showman, he was here, the only person remaining in this conflict apart from Goku and Vegeta. And he uses the years of building his brand, building his reputation as champion, to urge the whole world to give their energy. Just an amazing scene. Of course, Goku was the true hero, we all know that. He did all the gritty hard work, but this little moment at the end from Mr. Satan just shows how pure of a heart this man has deep down, and how far he came since the android arc. 
But that's going to be all for this one. Let me know what you think of Mr. Satan. I'm not too sure what sort of popularity he has these days, so I'd love to hear your favourite moments from the man himself. But please like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.